Hi, it's Katrina. From snakes hiding in the dark to aggressive species that can kill you in 30 minutes, here are nine of the world's most venomous snakes. Number 9. Black Mamba Also called the Black Mouth Mamba, the Black Mamba is named for the blackened inside color of its mouth. It's Africa's longest venomous snake, measuring up to 14 feet long. The species is also one of the continent's most feared serpents, and for good reason. Not only is the black mamba the world's fastest snake, reaching a maximum slithering speed of up to 12 miles per hour, it has extremely potent venom that can prove fatal in as little as 15 minutes without anti-venom. In fact, most human bite victims do not survive, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. A woman in Kenya was walking home one evening after a party when suddenly she was bitten by a black mamba. Before she knew what had happened, it struck her several times. A couple more mambas also came forward, ready to attack. But she was rescued by a man who also happened to be walking along the path carrying a machete, who chopped the snakes to pieces. She passed out, but was taken to the hospital just in time to get the anti-venom. The good news is that very few people perish from black mamba bites, because very few people are bitten. While the species is considered aggressive, it's also a rather elusive snake. It's unproven whether these snakes attack people or other non-prey unprovoked, but black mambas typically expend their energy going after small rodents and other animals that they feed on. Still, its lethal bite is well known enough throughout the animal kingdom that even creatures hundreds of times its size fear it and stay out of its way. Number 8. Terciopelo the fur de lance, one of the world's most dangerous pit vipers, has several names depending on the region. In Costa Rica, it's called the terciopelo, which means velvet, and in Guatemala and Honduras, the species is known as barba amarilla, or yellow beard. These serpents, which can exceed six feet in length, are responsible for enough bites throughout Central America and parts of South America for experts to consider envenomations to be a serious medical problem. With fangs up to an inch long and an ability to open its jaws to a full 180 degrees before striking, the terciopelo's bite is extremely painful. But that's not even the worst part. The snake's venom is hemotoxic, meaning it destroys red blood cells, causing swelling, blisters, and necrosis, or the death of body tissue. As a result, bites can become infected, amputation is sometimes necessary, and the effects can ultimately prove fatal. The terciopelo is also extremely dangerous because it often lives in close proximity to humans, making encounters more likely. In Costa Rica, the species is responsible for 46% of all snake bites, making it the country's most dangerous snake. Thanks to anti-venom, fatalities from terciopelo bites almost never happen. But you still want to avoid being bitten because it's going to hurt. And depending on where you are when it happens, accessing medical care may require an arduous journey. Steve Rankin, executive producer of the TV series Naked and Afraid, do you guys watch that show? He can testify to this. In 2013, while scouting for filming locations in Costa Rica, the man received a terciopelo bite, which he described as feeling like he was being stabbed in the foot, followed by extreme weakness and persistent, excruciating pain. The crew had to travel for miles on foot, helping him along the way. Then a truck ride followed until finally Rankin was airlifted to the hospital. Number 7. Bushmaster The Bushmaster genus, which encompasses four known species, is the world's largest pit viper. It's found in the rainforests of Central and South America and is related to the terciopelo that I told you about. Specimens typically measure around 6 feet long, but sometimes grow up to 10 feet long. Don't want to run into one of those. Bushmasters are loaded with potentially lethal venom, which causes swelling, pain, heavy bleeding, and necrosis. Other side effects include dizziness, vomiting, blurred vision, hypotension or low blood pressure, decreased heart rate, bloody diarrhea, and even a temporary loss of consciousness. Yikes! Between 600 and 700 people are bitten by Bushmasters every year in Costa Rica alone, according to a staff member at the Costa Rica Serpentarium, who was interviewed in the YouTube series Angry Planet. Thankfully, there is an anti-venom, and its effects are not only life-saving, but many unpleasant bite symptoms are avoidable by seeking proper medical care. Without this crucial treatment, many more people would perish from Bushmaster bites. Number 6. Carpet Viper The Carpet Viper, or saw-scaled viper genus, lives in dry regions throughout Africa, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and the Middle East. 
There are 12 recognized species whose scientists believe are responsible for more bite-related human deaths than any other snake. Carpet vipers are typically no more than three feet long, with smaller specimens measuring as little as one foot long. Despite their relatively small size, these snakes are known for being unusually aggressive and quick to bite, even compared to other venomous snakes, who tend to be elusive and often only bite people when they feel threatened. Carpet vipers tend to live in and around areas with dense human populations, making people more susceptible to bites, especially since these snakes are hard to spot, making it easy to accidentally trigger one. Their venom contains four toxins which cause painful and potentially deadly symptoms, including swelling, heavy bleeding, and extensive tissue damage, which causes some victims to require amputation of their fingers, toes, or entire limbs. Even with the administration of an anti-venom, the tissue may destruct so rapidly that the affected area simply cannot be saved. A groundbreaking 2016 study seeking to explain how the carpet viper's venom does so much damage revealed that our immune system's response is part of the problem. Certain white blood cells, called neutrophils, burst upon coming into contact with microbes as a way to immobilize and kill invading cells. But when it comes to carpet viper bites, this effect has the unintended result of trapping the venom at the site, leading to hasty tissue decay. As terrible as it may sound to lose a few fingers, or worse, without neutrophils, the snake's venom would travel throughout the body, putting victims at a much higher risk of serious organ damage and death. And while less than 10% of untreated victims succumb to bite injuries, the sheer frequency at which bites occur means that this number adds up to a lot, making the carpet viper perhaps the deadliest of all snakes. Number 5. Many-Banded Crate Found throughout China and much of Southeast Asia, the Many-Banded Crate, also called the Chinese Crate or the Taiwanese Crate, is an extremely venomous snake measuring up to 6.1 feet long. This species' bites are deceiving because they lack the characteristics we most commonly associate with dangerous snake venom. For instance, after being bitten by a many-banded crate, a person may not necessarily experience severe pain or swelling. Instead, they may feel slightly itchy or numb, and more serious effects may not set in for another one to six hours, perhaps causing the person to initially think that they are not in danger. But the worst is yet to come, starting in the form of double vision, chest discomfort, weakened limbs, lack of coordination, speech changes, drooping upper eyelids, difficulty swallowing, and difficulty breathing. Bites can certainly be fatal, as the many-banded crates venom contains neurotoxins, which essentially disable the body's nervous system. In 2001, a many-banded crate bit famous herpetologist Joe Slavinsky while he was searching for reptiles in a remote and little-studied region of Myanmar. The experienced handler, who had been injected with antivenom before and was used to being bitten by snakes, fought to survive. But by the time a medical helicopter was arranged to collect him in the dense forest, Slovinsky lost his battle. There is an antivenom, but as you can see, it is imperative to seek treatment for a multi-banded crate bite immediately. In 2018, a young Chinese woman was bitten by one that she kept as a pet. Her parents took her to the hospital, which lacked the antivenom because the species does not commonly occur in the region where the family lived. She received the antivenom a day later, but it was too late. The woman had already lapsed into a coma and her brain activity had stopped. She never woke up. Number 4. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan, also called the Western Taipan, is endemic to eastern Australia and measures up to 6.5 feet long. Generally speaking, this species is rather elusive and will go out of its way to avoid humans, making encounters between them and us pretty rare. Biologist and snake expert David Penning told Life Science, I worked in a venom lab for four years and I can tell you that every venomous snake I have ever met wants to be left alone. Besides, the venom is really expensive for them. It's a really expensive thing to create and they are trying to use it conservatively. I see a venomous bite from a snake as a sort of last resort. But like most creatures, the inland taipan will instinctively respond to perceived threats through aggression and will resort to biting if it feels the need to. The inland taipan's venom evolved to be especially deadly because unlike most venomous snakes, this species feeds exclusively on mammals. It has some of the most toxic venom of all land snakes, which contains something called typoxin, a complex mixture of different toxins, including neurotoxins and hemotoxins. These cause an array of terrifying symptoms that typically set in within an hour of being bitten, including muscle paralysis, difficulty breathing, slurred speech, seizures, and internal bleeding. Organ damage can occur, and without prompt medical care, bites can be lethal. 
Even if the anti-venom is administered quickly, it will not undo the damage that has already been done, and the road to recovery can be grueling for survivors. Number 3. Russell's Viper Russell's Viper has a wide distribution, including in Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and Taiwan. This three-foot-long serpent is responsible for nearly all the fatal snake bites within this range, and there are numerous reasons for this. For one, the Russell's Viper often lives in and around populated areas, bringing it near humans and naturally increasing the likelihood of a hostile interaction. Secondly, it has a notoriously aggressive demeanor and is quicker to bite than most other snake species. Another major reason the Russell Viper is so deadly is because it has complex venom that attacks the body in numerous ways. The snake is equipped with long fangs for the purpose of injecting a maximum dose of venom as quickly as possible. Unlike most other venomous snakes, who administer dry bites, or bites without venom, more often than they choose to use their venom. The Russell Viper's venom attacks the kidneys and causes internal bleeding. Even if someone survives their first bite, they may experience lasting health issues, including fatal kidney failure. The venom also targets the pituitary gland, which can stop producing hormones if the damage is extensive enough. This, too, causes long-term damage in the form of hypopituitarism, a condition that puts adults into a sort of reverse puberty that can adversely affect their fertility, libido, and other natural functions. Number 2. King Cobra Found throughout India, China, and Southeast Asia, the King Cobra grows up to 18 feet long, making it the world's longest venomous snake. The species venom is not the most lethal out there, drop by drop, but the King Cobra delivers it in doses large enough to kill an elephant or 20 people with just a single bite, and cobra bites claim thousands of lives every year, with around half of all bites proving to be lethal. A crazy battle between a king cobra and a reticulated python ended in a draw. The cobra bit the python, but the python was able to suffocate its opponent, so neither one made it. It's not clear whether these two snakes were put together to set up this battle, but cobras are known for eating other snakes. Earlier this year, a snake charmer was bitten by his cobra but refused medical attention, costing him his life. Its venom contains neurotoxins, which can cause respiratory arrest and cardiac failure. The effects can be fatal, and this worst-case scenario can occur rapidly, within a half hour, without proper treatment. Initial symptoms include swelling, redness, difficulty breathing, vomiting, nausea, blurred vision, sweating, drooling, and numbness of the face and limbs. To avoid the even worse effects, including death, it is crucial to get medical care immediately. Number 1. Eastern Brown Snake There are nine species of Australian brown snakes which are found throughout Australia, Papua New Guinea, and West Papua. Perhaps the deadliest among them is the Eastern Brown Snake, also known as the Common Brown Snake. Native to parts of Australia and New Guinea, this slender, slithery serpent reaches around 6.5 feet long. It's found in a variety of habitats, including in and near urban areas with dense human populations. This is a scary thought, considering the eastern brown snake is one of the world's most venomous land snakes and is responsible for around 60% of Australia's snake bite deaths. The species' highly toxic and potentially lethal venom causes a variety of symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, low blood pressure, severe internal bleeding, sweating, headache, abdominal pain, and cardiac arrest, just to name a few. There are usually very few, if any, noticeable symptoms at the site of the bite, and while the venom contains some neurotoxins, the effects are typically not neurotoxic in nature. Symptoms have a rapid onset, often taking just a few minutes to set in. Within a half hour, bleeding issues will become noticeable due to the venom's anticoagulant properties, which prevent the blood from clotting. Bite victims can avoid the worst from happening by getting to a hospital right away. Effective anti-venom has been available for over a half century, but time is of the essence when it comes to accessing it, and patients typically require 24 hours of monitoring before they are considered medically in the clear. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite snake? What other venomous creatures would you like to learn about? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!